Hello and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Tower Defense. I am Scooter Poop, and I forget which uh, episode this is, but um, I decided I originally made a recording that was going to turn this into two episodes. Not only did I lose it, but I also decided to change my mind. I'm not doing uh, the levels. I'm sorry if you really wanted to see them, but um, they're they're kind of they're kind of silly to go through because I'll explain them, I guess. Route 24 is uh, Nugget Bridge, so you'll face like five or six, I don't know, I forget, different trainers. They'll send out a Pokemon, um, and you just kill them, and then it'll reverse it. It'll force you to run through the maze. Now, you could just go through your, you know, your relearn, like, cool moves to help you get through it faster or whatever, but it's not even necessary. Like, like Blastoise, Charizard, and Venusaur, like, all you need <laughs> to get through and to kill other Pokemon, so it's 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 kind of disappointing. Like it should have been it should have been harder to go through, so that you had to relearn some moves. But um, maybe next time. As for Route Five, um, you can see lots of Pokemon on there. Uh, does it show everything? Yeah, it shows it shows all the Pokemon that appear. I guess um, Abra and Poliwag, 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 whatever is uh they're both more common in this level than they used to be, so I think all the, all the uncommon ones are a little more common in this level. So it's a good place to catch. It's an excellent place to train because there are also boss Pokemon on it. Um, it's an awesome place to make money. You make like somewhere from 8 to 10k <laughs> uh, just for beating all 45 waves. Um, and there's a new Pokemon in here, Meowth. So uh, before I get into everything, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk about some the prize winners. How about that? Well, not prize winners, but um, I give shout outs to people. <laughs> so first shout out, these these two shout outs go out to uh, people who uh, did the challenge from from last episode. Uh, you might not know the challenge if you didn't uh, if you watched the episode too early. and ended up changing, putting an annotation. Um, you were supposed to put uh, some sort of combination to beat Kyogre that I didn't discuss. Like, what what did you use? So we have uh, Jordy Rocks, too, who um, used Pidgeot with Quick Attack and Alakazam with Psybeam. So maybe not like, you know, uh, not like clever or anything, but still un uh, still original, so that's good. And Pokemon God, Pokemon God 777, Used Golem Rock Blast and Charizard Flame Burst, um, which is kind of weird because Flame Burst is really not the best move. It's low cooldown, lower power than like Fire Fang, um, and the only good thing about it is that it's AOE, and so you're only facing one Pokemon. But um, maybe maybe it hits Kyogre in multiple hits. I don't know. Uh, I didn't try Flame Burst, but Rock Blast seemed to do really well. So good job, you two. And uh, I have a special shout out this week to Lufty1994. Uh, he watched, or she, I don't know, watched the guide, uh, liked it, and wanted to contribute to it. And so, yeah, Shiny Mew. Um, very, very nice to, to help that way. So now you guys get to see it. I was kind of disappointed I couldn't cover it or anything, but now I can. So thank you, Lufty1994. Um, all right, and also this week we have a Shiny Spearow. So yeah, you you get lots of lots, of, you know, of shinies. That's good. So let's just go over the new things this week. We have Persian. Um, he gets Power Gem. Power Gem is a uh, is a good move. It's eighteen cooldown, seventy power. It's not like special or anything. What's good about it is that it's like Petal Dance. It'll hit in five intervals, so it'll help you actually catch Pokemon. So that's great. Um, he also learns Taunt, which is only a move that you need in a maze, so useless without it, uh, use, useless without a maze. It makes everybody attack him. Um, and then if you go to the relearn, um, he can learn Fake Out, which is an attack that makes the target flinch. It has a longer cooldown and a pretty crappy power, but apparently, I, I don't know, I haven't tried it, but it looks like it makes it flinch every hit, so that might be good against Kyogre, I'm not sure. Um, and then we have TMs, and the TM list, 
as I have right here, there are 20 of them. I don't have three on there because I looked at it through Mew. Mew can learn all the TMs, so everything appeared for him, except for three because he already has three of the moves that he learns. So um, of these TMs, most of them look uh, common. The ones that don't, we have Payday, which I guess gives you money after the battle. I don't know. I haven't tried it, but it's pretty crappy. And Rage, which increases your attack by 1.5 which is actually a pretty good move in this game because it's not like it wastes a turn like in the actual game where like rage actually is an attack in the other game but um power-ups don't really waste turns in this game unless they have a really really long cooldown because then in order to use it you need to wait that cooldown before actually using it but in this game they have like a really short cooldown so you just use it and then you switch to another move and you're good to go and it lasts as you see 792 duration so rage is actually a pretty good move However, if you wanted Rage or Growth or something like that, you can just use Helping Hand, so not a big deal. And so for the other for the other uh, moves, we're going to look at uh, Shiny Mew, who has three of them. Um, Psychic is, I guess, not you know a, a new move, since uh, all these three are not new moves. Shiny Mew has existed before. Um, so Psychic is an amazing move, 90 power, can lower special defense, and it looks pretty cool, so... Uh, Psychic is great, the best. We have Metronome. There was discussion about how he should make Metronome. Should he include non-attacks like, you know, Rage or whatever? Uh, I voted yes, because that's more fun. You don't know what you're going to get, and that's cool. And I've used it, and it's actually pretty cool. So I really like Metronome. I wouldn't use it above Psychic if I, like, really needed to win, but it's still not a bad move. Um, and then the other one is Mega Punch, which is an amazing move. Not as good as Psychic, but it's normal. So he has options of how he should attack. And uh, the last move that I have on his um, moves right now is Transform. <laughs> so he transforms into a Pokemon and gets his moves. And this really doesn't have much use. This is pretty useless because you wouldn't like, in order to kill a Pokemon, you wouldn't like transform into it, you know, to try to kill it because it's not like it does anything. So I have a uh, screenshot here, though, of something I used. Uh, transformed into Onyx, because Onyx you actually can't capture in this game yet for some reason, even though it's appeared in Mountain Moon 2, it's appeared in Brock's in Pewter Gym, um, but for some reason Onyx is not available yet. Um, I guess we'll have to wait to like Rock Tunnel or whatever. So Onyx is here, you get to see some of his moves. Just a little, a little, I guess, trivia, I don't know. Um, you know like uh, Pewter Gym, when uh, right before he calls out Onyx, he's like, Onyx, use Rock Throw. So you have to bring all your Pokemon back, and then the rocks are thrown, and then you put them back, and the Onyxes come through. So Onyx uses Rock Throw, but I transformed into it, into the specific Onyx in that level, and all it has was Harden. <laughs> it's not like this Onyx that I'm showing. So it's just kind of funny that he made Onyx use Rock Throw when he didn't have it. Just a little mistake, but not a big deal. And then the last thing I have here is Reflect Type, which is a move that Mew learns. Um, which makes you the same type, which is almost useless. <laughs> um, almost useless. Uh, I don't think it would actually work if you're going through a maze. Maybe it would, but that would actually help. But it actually has a little bit of offensive use combined with metronome, because if you get an attack of the type that you're reflecting, um, then it'll be stronger, because when a Pokemon is the same type as a move that it's using, that move gets stronger. It's called a stab bonus. Same type attack bonus. Um, another thing I've tried is with Mew. Mew uh, can actually solo Kyogre along with Pikachu and whatever using Psychic. So congratulations Mew for being one of the few. Um, and here the what I'm showing you is a screenshot of uh, having used Transform <laughs> uh, on the Kyogre stage for fun. And as you can see, uh, it only has one move. You don't really get to see much, but it's called, it's a special rest. It's called Kyogre's Rest. So, uh, it's special somehow. That's pretty cool. And, um, so yeah, that's it for, uh, that's it for this week, I guess. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.